It's your boy so crazy and welcome back to another Trigon Ball Legends video. And today we will be um first of all as you can see um <laughs> I was one of the few the 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 the, the lucky few who actually got a chance to pull the extremely uh <laughs> capable unit right now and I'm saying capable because uh, you basically need this unit to do everything raid and full power battle by the way um, I, I just I would like to make a separate video about this about just the mode period because this mode I keep in mind I have these units at seven stars. I have a seven star UI, a seven star Vegeta. I got this Krillin. He's not really 14 starred yet, but for the most part, like, and here's my equips. Here's the equips I'm running. Here's my support members for for the characters. Yeah, I've gotten a few stars, but here's the. Here's the, just the general, like the general cast of, of characters and their parties, but for some reason, I'm still not doing what I gotta do. I mean, I don't have a comrade for it. Let's see if I can find one. Let's see if I can find a comrade. Uh, yeah, we actually can find a comrade. Actually, hold on. Let me check to see if there's. Oh no, wait, nah. She's only extreme, right? So, yeah. So it looks like we got her, but you know what? Maybe we should just kind of go over it. I mean, actually, you know, why not? Let's, let's why not? Let, let's just try out full power battle because I don't think we've actually. I don't think there's a lot. I don't, actually, actually, probably there's probably a lot of. Uh, Dragon Ball Legends content creators who actually did the full power battle um, and showcased it, but this will be my first time showcasing it. And keep in mind, my UI Goku is at seven stars, right? And I'm I'm just gonna chill and I'm just gonna do this. And let's see. Hopefully, I am able to uh, definitely beat this uh this viewing right here because this is actually not fair at all even <laughs> when i have the lf unit i still can't even get um i still can't even get the free to play units to 14 stars that's ridiculous i'm not gonna lie legends y'all have been doing a lot of ridiculous things low-key i've been seeing this though whenever i did not pull a single lf on the third anniversary and I was I was suffering because of it. I was suffering heavy. I was suffering in, in, in everything. Autumn raid battles, all them six different raids. Oh yeah. It was hmm. They gotta get it fixed. At least I'd say they gotta make it They gotta make it just somewhat playable because it, it, it's not even playable if you don't even pull the new LF unit. Like it's actually crazy. Like I wish there was more of a balanced out way they did things and speaking of balanced out way <laughs> you know we might as well go ahead and go, we might as well go ahead and talk about it right balance 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 actually i'll talk about that after i get done with this battle right keep in mind i have all my rushes saved up i'm saving up all my rushes and everything because he has his burst soon he can have it soon so just trying to save Right, let's see. Mm -mm. Why not? Let's let's go ahead and pop it right here. Why not? Even though I don't really need it. Oh, did he just dance and step that? Like, come on, legends. Bro, out of four different people, he's not even targeting me. And he vanished and stepped, bro. Like, Come on, bro. Come on, Legends. Come on, bro. At like, we gotta do better on that. 
No way should he be vanishing stepping. That's crazy. You know how much damage I just lost because I didn't even hit that? <laughs> uh, and it's not like I'm actually get, gaining any of that back. Let's be honest. All right, let's see just how much we could do right now. So we'll start off with this. Oh, and keep in mind, you do have to, like, basically get these on perfect or else you're basically not winning at all. Uh-huh. Let's do that. All right. Ooh. Okay, that's good. That's good. And we still got a rush. We still got a rush. This is actually so far my best run. <laughs> this is so far my best run. Literally just last night, I went and did this thing like four different times and lost. Who knows? Maybe it was because of the, the, the placement of the rush, even though I've landed all my rushes where I need to go every time. <laughs> so we're going to keep that for the next rush because I don't think that's going to kill. And plus, we already got a special rewards card. Let's go ahead and increase that. So far, this is the best run. I'm actually going to be very pissed off. Um, <laughs> because, like, I was grinding that Hoi Poi coin, and literally, it was insane the type of grind I had to do. Like, the type of grind I had to do was, was absolutely crazy. I had to literally, like, just for. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> this could be a little problematic. We're only a thousand. Oh my gosh. It's not even perfect. Success. Oh, uh, no, we can't have any of that. Ah, oh, that's so bad. Oh, well, time to do it. Been saving it all this game. Oh, and if you don't hit that, I'm sure all of you probably are already know. You're going to lose if you do not hit that rush in. And it's crazy how, even with the LF unit, like, even with the LF unit, the, the, the mode is hard. I thought this mode was kind of bad already. Oh, I should have used that red rush. Doesn't, uh. I oh, don't use it. Uh, come on, break it, break it, break it. I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. No! Oh, you see what I'm saying? Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. That's crazy. And he's vanishing stepping, bruh. That's crazy. That's crazy. But that's just a little insight on the battle itself. Uh, it is on the harder difficulty, but still, with seven stars, with, with having the unit at seven stars during the anniversary, I feel like it should be even at six stars even that i'd even yeah i'd even say if you have the LF, well probably not if you have the lf period but if you have the lf at even like six stars i feel like the mode should be i don't know I, I i wouldn't i wouldn't go as far as to say easy because the mode is supposed to be hard but it should be this mode i don't know it's just if i didn't have ui goku i would not be complete i would be nowhere near completing this and the fact that I still haven't completed it, and I have UI Goku. This seems even more problematic. But, you know, let's go ahead and talk about, you know, what everybody's main concern is, right? And it's the raid, alright? They did fix this, though. They did fix this by giving us 1,000 raid medals and 300 chrono crystals, right? But I just wanted to let y'all know, I grinded. As y'all see, y'all don't see no more LFZ power. I didn't have my UI Goku at what's the name? I I didn't, I didn't have my my UI Goku on, you know, at this many stars that he's at. You know, before I didn't have that. <laughs> I had to come in here with a three. I believe it was. I believe whenever Raid had first began, I had a three-star Goku, uh, UI Goku, and then I pulled UI Goku again, just out of the grace of God or something. I don't know. <laughs> I really, truly don't know. <laughs> but 
if you don't have this unit, it's just I feel like Legends should not. Legends should make it, you know, playable. Make this playable. I feel like that if you don't have UI Goku, it's really no point in logging on. It, really no point. You don't got UI Goku to beat this. Okay? You need UI Goku to beat that. You don't got that. You're not getting that. You're not getting him to 14 stars. You're not getting all three of the free to play units, I would add, to 14 stars. And it's just, I don't know. That's a little problematic. Another thing, right? I'm just talking about this now because I've had my full experience with 4th Anniversary uh, and I wanted to wait till the release of uh, Dragon Ball Superhero to really push this out just in case they do update the game and just to give off my final review of the first part of the 4th Anniversary and just to talk about it. Right, so, you know, that is the reason for such a delay time. But, let's talk about this. The most anticipated Zenkai. Why am I upset? Because, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I don't wail, like, I'll wail out in the game every once in a while, maybe, but for the most part, I don't consistently spend money on the game. So, it did take me, so I was kind of waiting, and, uh, I was kind of waiting, and, um, I eventually pulled Vegito to seven stars actually just recently uh, to, you know, in preparation for Zenkai because it was, I was actually looking forward to Zenkai for a good bit. I was looking forward to it. A, a lot of people have. I didn't expect it to come out so soon though. I was looking forward to be a lot better, but not so soon. I thought it was going at least before we see this guy. I thought we, I'd say I didn't think we was going to see this guy until probably the end of this year. I didn't think he was gonna come out so soon. But speaking on that terms, right? We gotta talk about these last two. I'm not even here to talk about the rest of everything else. Like legends, bro. Come on. Come on. I I've literally been using this unit in PvP and actually been trying to put myself in some of these certain situations and it just doesn't turn out the way you think it will turn out. Like 15 restores held by 15% that's nothing nowadays against you know units like Ultra Gogeta Android uh, 1718 Ultra Kaioken Goku that low 15% that you're getting whenever two of your allies are defeated that is not nothing <laughs> that is I wouldn't mm -mm, that's just so bad is it's, it's very bad and then he reduces damage received by 10 percent that's not very good either <laughs> i mean 10 percent there's there's units out here that can literally like amp in their sustain damage cut by like plus 180 so sure i'll be taking out you know 10 percent of that 180 but what about the rest of the you know, 170, or even if you're running Kyle King Goku, I know he can go up to like, I believe, I believe it's over 200. So that little 10% received damage cut is not gonna mean anything <laughs> when I'm playing with this unit, right? And then this vanishing step, this vanishing thing, it is it, this right here, this has to be one of the, one of the most things that has probably Pissed me off the most about this unit and what they gave him. Hopefully, they I really do hope they give him a unique. This unit's not trash by all means, it's just these last two uniques are dog water and they need to get fixed, right? I feel like, respectively, as somebody who plays the game, as somebody who has you know who's dedicated this much time into the game. I feel like there should be a say, you know, there should be some type of say in this and how this is quite literally not acceptable, especially for your second anniversary unit. Keep that in mind. This is your second anniversary unit and his Zenkai <laughs> felt did not feel anniversary material at all. Right. But technically, let me explain. This last ability for you, for the ones who are the newer players who don't really understand. Um, 
if I vanish and step and attack, right? The enemy throws an attack, I vanish and step. Right? Um, and then after I vanish and step the attack, um, they want me to pop a strike arts card. Right? Now, nine out of ten times, or nine nine out of ten chances that my opponent is going to vanish and step that attack. Or even in some cases, because we're in a, a, a meta with UI, I mean, I think they'd, you know, kind of fix this. I He attacks me, I vanish and step, and he stands there as I do the Strike Arts card. That, it's really no point. He's just going to evade that. What is this for? <laughs> like, what is this even for? That this it has to be one of the most useless abilities because you will never there's there's not gonna be many chances where you actually hit it. There's only certain situation there's only like a cert a specific certain situation that would have to play out for that to even be you know for that to even take in full effect. You would have to attack him, they would have to vanish instead. And then they would have to attack you. But then again, that's prompting you to attack first. Right? But now we have units like Goku and Vegeta. And uh, again, Android 17, 18, who can literally restore their vanishing gauge by like 70% by just popping the green card. So it's like, okay, he pops the green card, right? Let's just say I'm going up against, you know, some of the the units that you see in PvP, which is literally like I'd say you're either seeing one of these units on the team, right? Goku and Vegeta or Android 17 and 18 in this matter. And, or, you know, if you just really don't have Goku and Vegeta, then you're most likely running Zamasu, who's not a bad option either. Who I I'd honestly prefer him over the new purple Zenkai Vegeta, which, you know, obviously, who's also pretty mid. That, uh,. You know, it's just, as of lately, the Zenkais have not been the best. Um, in that Super Trunks video, uh, the audio messed up on the video. I have a good bit. I'm going to have to probably record. I have a good bit of it recorded already, but I'm going to have to go back in it and record some more. But, hey, I mean, they get to have Super Trunks pre-anniversary and during anniversary just to see just how bad that unit truly is. Ain't that right, guys? But, um, the, the, the main point is, though, is that Legends, you gotta do better. This is supposed to be your most anticipated, um, event of all. And I'd say probably the top two things, it wasn't even, I wasn't even, like, the free-to-play player, uh, like, the free-to-play units, they, they're okay, like, they're, they're good. The Purple Goku, he has a pretty hard hidden. Blue card, all of them actually have hard hitting blue cards. But it's just, I don't know, it's just they make it very difficult for them, first of all, Chief. And on top of that, on top of that, this raid, if I would have never pulled UI Goku, I would have never been enjoying those rewards. And that I feel like is problematic and not really fair to your general legends. You know, I feel like. It should be some type of fairness, some type of equal ground. You know, this raid, this is a big, like, buff to anybody who does it. You know, you're getting 700 Z power, a thousand, um, sparking Z power, you know, a whole bunch of messages and whatnot. It's pretty big. I mean, even for the extreme, you can even star up in extreme, one of the extreme units that just recently came out, right? It's a pretty big buff. And <laughs> the rewards aren't guaranteed, which makes it bad. And the fact that they still haven't updated this is very bad because they still clearly agree with that. Um, so that, yeah. But I don't know. I mean, let me know what you guys think about uh, Legends Part 1 of the Anniversary. Um, I feel like if I was to give this a final, like, review, a final verdict, right? If I was 
to score this out of all the anniversaries. I don't even know. It's between this one and second anniversary for sure. <laughs> that uh, that are that have been not really good as far as content goes. This might take the cake though, because they they tease you. They they tease you with this one. They give you a raid. They give you a raid, and they give you. Uh, they tell you that there's a. They don't even give you. They tell you that there's a raid with all these cool different rewards out, just to literally find out at. You know, 2 o'clock a.m. at Eastern Standard Time. That you can't even get the Z power because you don't have UI Goku at six stars. So <laughs> it's just like, man, it's just how are you really supposed to? Even for the new players, I can't even see how they're supposed to get into the game because all your events are exclusive to only pulling this guy and there's not enough crystals for for you to I mean story is one thing yes but I don't think many people realize how many crystals you can gain because it says only three crystals at a time um by completing all the challenges in story for the new players and even even for even without thinking about the new players Let's think about the veteran players for just a few seconds, please. Just a few seconds. As of recently, they have not been treating veterans how they should be at all. They just haven't. I mean, we can we can clearly tell with this Vegito Blue Zenkai. They they, they were definitely they don't really care about their veteran players. I feel like they don't. Or else you wouldn't you wouldn't give Vegito Blue, right? This is the same guy who, you know, keep in mind, you didn't have him, you were losing. <laughs> you were losing second anniversary. That doesn't mean he needs to be as broken as second anniversary Vegito Blue. No. And I'm saying second anniversary Vegito Blue because I feel like they just are on two different levels. <laughs> like when Vegito Blue had first released versus, you know, now that he has the Zenkai Awakening, how he kind of feels. Right? He doesn't have to be the the He has to still be genuinely crazy, yes. But not he doesn't have to be, you know, you don't gotta make him better than UI, but he should still be able to easily take out UI though. But just kit like kit format goals. He shouldn't be I don't think he should be better than you know UI, but you need to make or y'all need to make these Uniques actually playable in a in a playable meta. I can't use these equips against ultra units that I have yet to pull. <laughs> by the way, a I have I have pulled an ultra unit yet, so still using the free to play ones, right? So yeah, all the ones who haven't pulled ultra units, you know, you know, I think we should spam W, you know, go ahead and just let everyone know how. We didn't pull any Ultra Units and just kind of signify just how hard it is. And even those who haven't had an Ultra Unit ever before or haven't had um, any of the, the newer Zenkais, I know it's been harder for you. All who've been using more of the older Zenkais, more of the older units, I know it's been really hard for you. Because literally not just too long ago, I was using more of the older units and I tried them out and... I don't want to say they were they weren't doing bad, but if I had them at low stars with their Zenkai Awakening, they would definitely not be feasible. Not in the current meta now. And with these um, abilities, man, it's just I'm just, just so disappointed. See, his stats are really good. He could still like I don't even know if he can take out UI Goku with the blue card. Huh. Can he take out you? I think I. I don't even think he could take out you. I go for the blue card. I think it's like just barely. Just barely, but then again, I feel like he should be able to because this is your second anniversary unit and he's Zenkai Awakened. And let's be honest, by the time UI Goku actually does get his Zenkai Awakening, he's most likely going to overshadow 
this Vegito, probably not by like a super ton, but once Mastered UI gets that Zenkai, <laughs> which is probably going to be two, three years from now, right? Um, you know, hopefully he's a devastating force. I hope. I mean, we all thought about that for Super Saiyan Blue Vegito. But as we could tell, they did this. <laughs> they did this right here, signifying that they just don't really care. It's just, they, they might as well not have given him a Zenkai. They, they might as well not have given him a Zenkai. Because these two uniques is just, man, they're useless. They're so bad. So bad. And um, I, I wouldn't even be worried about him being meta breaking. Because there's so many units that do more, actually, than Vegito Blue. So, meta breaking, I wouldn't say, should be something that is kind of looked on. Don't make him better than UI, though. Don't make him better than UI, because that's your feature anniversary unit, right? But just please, don't give him this dog. But yeah, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm done talking about it. It's just, I don't know. These abilities just, whew. whenever I saw these unique, unique abilities, I was just, mm, I was really contemplating on whether or not I should even Zenkai this guy. But, mm. <laughs> I don't have a good God Key blue unit. I don't have a good God Key blue unit, first of all. I mean, besides him. And, um, he's actually not bad with damage. He's actually not bad with damage. He's not bad with damage. He can take on units in this meta. And I'd say he'd probably perform just like how Super Vegito would. The he performed just like how he would in the meta. And they do they do pretty good damage. And I'd say if you put on like more powerful equips for them, then you may see that damage, you know kind of raise if you work on that equip though because I've seen it a lot of work on my equips I'd say that's another thing for a lot of players even a lot of veteran players don't do it um, is they don't really try to focus on their equips but yeah their equips do actually matter unless it's like a like a, a unique equip too that that's different too I mean they they gave me a unique equip a good unique equip a good they get from that then he would be crazy I don't know I don't have any ideas on what they could give him it's just I don't think it should be on the level of giving this man plus how much you get like plus 15 key and 10 receive plus 15 key or plus 15 percent to health and reduces damage received by 10% for again keep in mind this is the last man standing unit by most of the time people have decked out buffs and and everything and this is all this guy is getting <laughs> come on please let's just give this guy unique let's just hurry up get this fixed let's get this problem fixed okay <laughs> um you have you've apologized um and yes i will be doing that survey all of y'all need to be doing this survey. Um, let me see where it's at. The survey right here. Before I before I leave it, everybody needs to do the survey. Just to prevent something like this from ever happening again. Right? We should all take the time out. And we should all do the survey right here. Because if we do this survey... Everyone will, I feel like everyone, Dragon Ball Legends would get the memo, you know, to not make your events exclusively locked behind pulling a unit to six stars <laughs> to get in the Horde Boy coins or whatnot. That, that's ridiculous. And, you know, to be honest with you, I would have done it based off of, like, if you pulled the unit, you could have a guaranteed drop of three. But if that's if you pulled a featured unit on the banner, you could have a guaranteed drop of three. 
If you're using any of the Zenkai characters, I'd say guaranteed drop of two if you're running him. But that's how I would have done it for the raid. A guaranteed drop of two for like the Zenkais or anybody underneath the tag Universal Survival Saga since, that, since that's his name. You know, a guaranteed tag for two who play with Universal Survival Saga. Actually, yeah, two. Nah, nah. Well, two, yeah. Either, either I'd go two and make the lower and make the rewards lower, or I'd go like have the Zenkais or have any of the units that you pull have a guaranteed drop of. I don't know. I mean, because if you want three thousand, I feel like you need to have these units that you pull at least give the guaranteed drop of 10 for real at least just for the guaranteed just for the unit that you pulled actually nah because that's for every unit and it gets stacked on well for the lf unit you need to have a guaranteed of 10 on pulling the lf unit and then pulling any of the other units i feel like should have five and if they were a zenkai three to two or three coins and that's that i feel like that that problem will be a lot fixed people would actually be able to get hoi poi coins because even people can't even grind for this a hundred a hundred sparking z power a hundred sparking z power just because they don't have any of uh the newer units and it's not even that they just don't even have the, any of the newer units they don't have any of the newer units at six stars that can actually get you what you need just at six stars it drops three that is wild well no 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 right yeah plus three mm -mm -mm. that's that's just to drop But yeah, I mean, we don't know. I'm just, I'm really done with that. I will, I'm gonna make a, a God Key showcase team because this team is actually pretty crazy to run. Again, Vegito Blue is not bad. He's actually a pretty good Zenkai. But those, his damage, his damage at least, his damage is not bad. But his uniques are not built. They're not built around this meta you can't use those new unique uniques that, that they got for him in this current meta because it's just you can't even see it happen <laughs> like unless you strictly do it and you're paying attention you wouldn't even know it's happening so it's just i don't know i mean hopefully legends could do better during the second annie i i hope so i really hope Legends fixes this all, but yeah, thanks for watching the video, y'all. Um, let me know what you guys think about the fourth anniversary, or at least the first part of the fourth anniversary. I have been playing, even though I haven't been posting, I have been playing just trying to get my account more higher because you know, I didn't want to, uh, <laughs> I didn't want to start recording again. And I'm getting completely washed by MUI, so, uh, you know, I had to put in some effort, had to put in some work to get this guy to team going. Oh, and by the way, I'm going to just go ahead and leave it at this. <laughs> if y'all run Beerus on this team, this, this team is, you know, I'm going to just save this for the next video. Anyway, we out.